Hello everyone, this is the product manager Hans and nice to meet you everyone from the to, to watching the QNAP channel. Instead of the usual live studio recording, today we will be going to the conference room in QNAP. Where is our main character today? The Koi Bus conference video system was located. We will start with a brief introduction and followed by a live setup and a feature demonstration. And finally, we will have a quick summary for the product. So let's begin. The first is the, about the QNAP and the Koi Box. This system we call the Koi Box has been commonly used in our company's internal meeting rooms, both in our headquarters in Taipei and other company under branches locations such as Japan, Germany, and Shanghai in China. So how, why we use Koi Box? In QNAP, before the epidemic, colleagues usually have meetings with many people in a large meeting room. But after the strike of the COVID, although discussing over the cloud from our own places becomes normal to all of us, we may still choose to discuss in a small meeting rooms with a limited for maybe two or three team members because a face-to-face -face discussion is still a more effective method where we, when we are able to. So under the few people and the more meeting rooms model, traditional video conference systems are extremely expensive to set up, especially when the amounts are increased. And QNAP itself, for example, has not been able to affordingly the traditional video conference system devices in all meeting rooms because of the budgetary considerations. In the case of working from home, Everybody is prepared with their own devices for use, and everyone is physically distant from each other, so there is no problem of audio interference. But once when we resume normal work and participate into online discussions, these interference issues from nearby colleagues will arise. And a screen sharing device like a projector is very common in the conference room because it can help to share one's laptop screen to another during a face-to-face -face discussions in easier way. And the presenters could operate his, her own computer normally. Following the same logic, if there is a shared conference device in the meeting room, attendees in the same room will not have to use their own PC to join the same meeting which could avoid the echo interference if they join the same one, or if they choose to join the meeting with only one laptop, they will be restricted by the angle of the built-in camera and the microphone to design, that designed for personal and result poor qualities. And the one who donate their computer could hardly or just have nothing to do during the meeting because the computer is shared by others. Under these requirements, we will need a shared devices. A shared devices in all meeting spaces are required for us. So how QNAP uses Koi Box? In our meeting room, Koi Box is used in these ways. First is the wireless protection function. Projection is possible when connected to the same company LAN. And in the boss's office, an additional pin code is set up for, a, for additional privacy, which must be entered to connect. The second is in the public meeting room, we will use the Koi Box to join the cloud conferencing. Cloud conferencing has become an acceptable option since working from home, and Koi Box supports joining and setting up meetings with Zoom, Skype, and Teams, as well as Google Meet and WebEx meetings when you have the invitation URL. And third one, we do support instant private P2P peer-to-peer -peer conferencing. Normally, setting up a conferencing system requires IT personnel to do so. And even a virtual private network, we call a VPN, as the backbone will be needed in some cases. Coibox does not require such complicated setup up to four-way conference calls and also an auto-answer feature can be set up. 
we are still the same in the, in the P2P meeting, but now we are talking about the SIP meeting. The SIP protocol, SIP-based conference systems such as Avaya are implemented, were implemented before in QNAP's meeting room. We are still using these existing SIP devices to con conduct meetings with Coibox. The two systems can coexist. So even if we introduce Coibox, we can still use those systems. We don't need to drop our old equipment away. And the last one is the video recording function. This is an additional feature that allows to directly record the discussion when doing the P2P meeting in the meeting room or when doing the local meeting. And those recorded can be confirmed later. So everybody can just concentrate on the meeting instead of making records. So why, somebody may ask, why did we, why did we choose to use Coibox instead of just setting up a PC for everybody can use in the conference room? There are several reasons. The first is a PC. We are unable to, using a PC, we are unable to accept wireless projection from laptops. To show the slides and videos, the presenters will need to pre-copy the file to a public computer in the meeting room, then which is more dangerous than direct projection, either through a flash drive or by logging to the presenter's email address or cloud storage on the public computer. So in contrast, just doing a direct projection will be much better, easier, and safer. Second, after we set up the operating system in the public computer, virus meeting software still must be installed. So you cannot just start using it directly. And also the meeting software is not included in the operating system and often requires the manager and to create another additional public accounts to operate with those software, increasing the administrative efforts. Third is about the synchronizing. During the meeting, the presenter and the attendees may have discussion and they will make changes to the slides and those documents directly during the session. If these changes are done directly on the presenter's computer, we don't have to worry and there's no need to do about the synchronization or copy the file back to the presenter's laptop. Four, it's more difficult to manage remotely. Of course, the computer is a standalone device, and although install a remote computer management program is possible, remote desktop or something else, but it is also requires additional configuration and adds the efforts of the administrators. So Coibox allows you to keep things on your laptop while attending a meeting. And at the same time, it is slightly affordable to set up, making it a good choice to our own meeting room. So below, we will introduce the progress, process of setting up Coibox and how to getting it ready to be used, starting from the unboxing for the, of one actual machine and as well as a live demonstration will come later of how to use the features introduced above. In this video, we will unbox and set up Koi Box. Let's start with unboxing. Inside the box, there are a power adapter, an ethernet cable, and a remote controller. Let's look around the Koi Box. On the front side, there is a power button with a LED indicator. It is red when it's powered and will turn into blue when the power is on. In the back of Koi box, you will see four USB 3.2 slots, an HDMI port, an AC power port, and an Ethernet port. If we want to install an external 2.5 inch SATA hard drive for recording meetings, you must flip the Koi box and remove all four screws at its bottom. You can use a screwdriver, coin, or even bare hand to remove them. After all of them are removed, the cover can be taken off, and you can see components inside the Koi box. Just put the SATA drive in the proper direction, and you'll hear a click sound. The drive will be secured at the proper location. We can place the cover on and lock the screws back. 
We may begin with the power adapter. The HDMI cable. Then the USB camera and the conference microphone. Bluetooth conference phone, keyboard, and mouse are also supported. Now we can power on the Koi box by pressing its button at front. The initial setup process will appear. We can follow the instructions by pressing the key on the remote controller to continue the process. Once the initial setting is finished, you will enter the Koi Meter main page. When the IP address of this Koi box appears here, it means the internet is connected, and you can use this IP address to access from your PC. SIP address is for one-on-one -on -one calling to the SIP system. Koi code number is for calling by Koi Meter app on mobile or Koi box. How to make a Koi code call? Click private meeting to start dialing. If it's a video conferencing meeting like Zoom, you can click cloud meeting. If you need to record private meeting, install a disk on Koi box, then click record. If it's set to public, you can view it directly in recordings. So how to access Koi Meter main page via a computer? Just type and enter the IP address displayed on the screen from Koi Box using your browser, and you will access Koi Meter main page. Wireless projection lets you share your computer screen with others in the same meeting room. Inside view function lets you view the actual screen on the Koi Box. When joining a meeting such as Zoom, you can click Cloud Meeting to paste the invitation URL. You must open Cloud Meeting on Koi Box in advance. For mobile, you can download the Koi Meter app. Enter the Koi code to join the meeting or make a call to others. Click Share Screen during the meeting, and you can share your mobile screen with attendees in the same meeting session. So, to sign up, this is how to install and set up Coibox and how to use it into a conference. The Coibox is designed to be easy to understand and use as a telephone. In terms of the peripheral support, Coibox supports Bluetooth and USB keyboards, mice, microphone devices, and the most USB camera lenses on the market can be supported. If there is a physical keyboard that needs to be supported, or it can be also be updated online, and we will include the new support, new feature in the future versions of the firmware software. And it additional to supporting wireless network connection, it is also support the latest Wi-Fi 6 specification standards, which can connect with QNAP's QHORA 301W Wi-Fi 6 professional router and to provide a stable 
and high quality transmission. And if you need to save your recording files, you could purchase a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive separately. After opening the top corner of Koi Bus, just follow the direction of the guide and insert the fixed hard insert the hard drive in a secure location without any additional tools. In sum, Koi Bus provides the right solution for any meeting size. It can instantly upgrade a meeting room to a video conference room without the need to without the knowledge the need of advanced network knowledge or and during the installation and for using it. Even with a limited budget, the Koi Bus can achieve the demand to have them in each room, just like us. It is a product born from QNAP's own meeting room requirements. So thank you for your participation today, and we're welcome to contact us for more information. Have a good day.